Hello, this is Mihai showing you today another great thing you can do with DNN Sharp modules. Today I will show you how to export from Action Grid only the selected items and how to run actions only on those selected items. I already have a setup in place. As you can see, this is my grid, and I have here export selected JSON and export selected with entity buttons. They both do exactly the same thing. They generate a comma separated value file with the selected items from my grid, but they do it in a different way. I will show you both implementations after you will see how it works. Let's select two items and click export selected with entity first. Save the file, open it. As you can see the outputted file only has the two items I selected. The result with export selected with JSON is the same. Now let me show you the implementation. Let's go to the manage grid screen. The first one I'm going to show you is the export selected with entity. What you need to do is to add a create entity action on per item actions. So for each element you select, create entity with some information. The create entity action you will find it under entities, create entity. In this action you need to give the name of the entity and the values that you want to insert in the entity with their corresponding column heads. After you've selected all the items and created the entity with all of them, you will need to execute actions at the end. Final actions, I've chosen to use serialized to comma separated value. In my case, I provided the entity name I would like to send to the file and to include all fields. I've saved the link to the file in this token and then redirected to that link and forced a download. You can also run actions in these entities. To do that, entities execute actions on entity list. You give the name of the entity, selected, because that's how I named my entity, and then the actions that you want to run. For example, send email. At this point, it will send an email for each item I selected. I sure don't want to do that. This is the first implementation. The second one, with the same result, the same output, is a little bit difficult to achieve. Export selected with JSON. Instead of easily adding values to the entity with the create entity action, you can build a JSON with that information. Let me show you how I did it. For each item action, I will inject some data into a token. My token name is AAA. I will take the old value of the token, which is at first empty, and insert an entity. This is the entity. It's column head, first value, second column head, second value, third column head, third value, and so on. Now, these values need to be added to the JSON, separated by a comma at the end. And all the rows need to be wrapped around some brackets. To do that, I've initialized this AAA token with an open bracket on the initialization action. So I, I've opened the bracket, then I've inserted all the entities in that bracket, and now I need to close the bracket. But there's one problem there. At the end, we have a comma. 
to have a valid JSON, we need to get rid of that last comma from the token. To do that, use a regex to extract everything until the last comma in the token. Extract that and save it in the same token. Of course. And then inject data to close the brackets. This is the value and close the bracket. Now that we have the JSON, we need to load the entities from that JSON. We use the load entities from JSON action. Place the to token here. Give your entity a name. BBB in this case. And then the serialize to comma separated value action as in the previous case, just that this time it's a different name. Again, in this case you can also run actions on entity list. It all comes down to creating the entity and then choose what to do with it. Run actions or export it to a file. You can export it to comma separated value or you can export it to Excel if you have the Excel generator add-on installed. In order to use these features, you will need to have an action grid version bigger than 40458. On versions smaller than this one, it will not work, as the action doesn't exist. I hope you liked this video and that you will find a lot of useful cases for it. See you soon. Bye!